Hello everybody, my name is Virus Alert, and I am back to bring you guys another video. Today we're going to be looking at Windows Vista Beta 2 and RC Candidate versions 5270 and build 5456. Now let's get right into it on 5270. So as you can see, the installation looks almost exactly the same as the last build that we were looking at beforehand and I'm about to just run through this installation process we kind of already know what this looks like nothing too different still the same Windows XP style-esque flag but we do see the contrasting Windows Vista look start coming out this is wonderful I'm gonna show you guys based on the BIOS date this build might have been compiled around it looks like December 15th 2005 so as you know we're getting closer and closer to that release date of Windows Vista and this being complete and as you know we're gonna be looking at a release candidate so we're getting we're getting very very tight in how close we are to actual Windows Vista as you can see a little bit of the UI kind of changed a little bit we're gonna check out the out-of-box experience Oh, would you look at that? That looks beautiful and oh my word. We are seeing the beautiful look. It looks just like Vista. Who are you kidding me? It looks almost exactly like Vista. I love it. Some of the UI has changed in a little bit of the out of box experience just to get you guys know over here. So there's new backgrounds that we got. So as you can see, we got the fish background. Very beautiful. And then you can see the new login background and the login screen which is different it's starting to look again like I said it's looking like Vista uh, it went it went away from the Windows XP kind of style where you can kind of see a little bit of the element where it stacks above like you know it stacks from top to bottom but in Windows Vista as you guys all know it goes from left to right so I mean but it's kind of starting to get there <laughs> the pictures don't really match but uh we're getting there on that end and then so after that we're gonna be we saw the new background as you can see we're getting certificate issues oh would you look at that oh the beautiful user account controls are coming in this is Windows um, Explorer version 7 as we have here so a couple new things that we got some little knickknacks that we have in this build of Windows Vista Windows Media Player looking beautiful as ever mm -mm -mm -mm. I remember when I first saw this Windows Media Player in Windows Vista um, I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys are wondering why we're getting so many, like, certificate errors is because, um, with these, um, builds, and actually, ultimately, Windows versions, the certificates that come with them are certificate, or actually, uh, I believe certificate authority certificates on these systems that were from DigiCert, and they have an expiration, and I think they expired, I believe, like, last, two years ago, I believe, is when they expired, and if anyone is actually running Windows XP, Windows Vista, or potentially Windows 7, don't know why you would do it anyway. They are, they do not have, they're out of, they're end of life now, and not sure why you would still be using them, but, uh, you know, people have their reasons. <laughs> but if you're still using them, you'd have to download new certificates to be able to access websites. Because if you don't, you're going to keep getting certificate authentication errors. Some sites won't even load for you, and you're never going to be able to browse the web as if you would with a normal system. So... Make sure if you're gonna do this I didn't really do it because you know I it's honestly what I do is I just look at this build for a couple of minutes I look at it I look at what's new show it to you guys record it and then I'm off to the next build so adding certificates just to like you know has a little more convenience I guess but it takes up time and I want to try and get these out as quickly as possible for you guys just so you guys can see it and there's some builds that just aren't worth it because there's some builds where I just look at it and there's very minute details, and as you can tell, you can tell which ones have very minute details because I either splash them in with one with another video, and if they have major, like super major changes, then I put them in their own single video because there's a lot to talk about. But as you can see, as in this case for this one, we have two builds we're looking at. Because, oh, again, there's not that much to look at, but there are progressions to these builds. There's enough significant, um, if you will, there's significant enough changes to these builds that we can look at them together and we can compare them and we have a fresh mind there anyways we also have the aero theme of the ui it has a bit of a grayer color if you guys notice again really shining out that final version of windows vista and we're really really getting there the windows media player looks really beautiful not media player it's the media center it's looking really nice i don't know if you guys got a glimpse of that but we also have um connecting to projectors and there's our games again and if you guys notice we have 
Windows Antivirus on here. Anti-spyware, uh, Windows Defender, actually. So in the last build, we had Windows Anti-spyware, but now in this build, it's been renamed as Windows Defender. So as everyone knows, Windows Defender came up in this version of Windows, in Windows Vista. So that's where we get it from. Very nice, very nice, and I love it. It's a really bit. It's a. It's Microsoft's version of people who just don't know how to use a, how to use a computer lately. And you know, some antivirus is better than no antivirus. You know, there's a bunch of folks that don't know what an antivirus is or don't know how to use it or they don't want to pay for one. So I usually just stick with the one that comes with Windows. Again, not the best, but it it gets the job done. I mean, you're gonna get less viruses than if you had nothing on it. We also have uh, the Microsoft Internet Explorer. If you guys noticed, it was also renamed to Windows Internet Explorer, going away from like, you know, cause we all know it's MSI, Microsoft Internet Explorer, but now it's Windows, Windows uh, Internet Explorer. And now we have a gold band on that icon. Ah, just a little, just making it even better, if you will. <laughs> and then we also have this uh, code name, uh, Windows Collaboration. It didn't function in the last uh, version. I think I, I'm pretty sure I remember showing it to you guys, but now, right now, it is functioning. I should be able to, I, I do believe that I showed you guys what that looks like. And then Media Center was renamed to Windows Media Center. And as you guys saw, the UI looks cleaner. It looks pretty much like about the same as like how we have it in the RTM version. As you can see, I'm just looking at the games. You can see, uh, I don't have the correct video graphics drivers on this. And again, I couldn't really install VMware tools to get you guys like the super best quality because of the way these builds work. These builds are so annoying sometimes. <laughs> I kind of wish we still had um, Virtual PC 20, uh, 2007. I absolutely loved using that because it was so easy to just install any version of Windows that you wanted and you could have it all right there. But unfortunately, I believe... If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Windows discontinued that product and you really can't use it as much anymore. It's Sometimes it doesn't work, other times it's not updated, there's a lot of bugs in it, so there's not much I can really do. <laughs> Unless I want to make a burner Windows XP system in a virtual machine and then virtualize that virtual machine, which by, again, that's more work than it's really worth. So we got people near me. We're seeing that, like you can guys can start seeing like how that networking that um the new age that we kind of see where computers are communicating to each other like nearby and they have like you know local area networks not like you know you know what i mean by like the local area networks we kind of have now where devices are communicating with each other and they send data to each other and that started here this is where we started in windows vista and again this is if you guys remember, Windows Vista isn't really a professional. Um, I mean, it, it tries to do its uh, some professional application, but this is mostly for businesses. And it's notorious Windows Vista was not really adopted by the corporate world at all. They much rather stick with their Windows 2000 or Windows XP. Like, there's no, there was no real reason for them to say, well, Windows Vista. I mean. I'm not going to switch to that. Who's going to switch to that? It wasn't until the onset of Windows 7 that, that the corporate users were starting to say, okay, yeah, you know, this looks like Windows. This is better. It, it, it basically looks like it's a basically a better improved version of Vista. Um, I would say Windows Vista was ahead of its time. If, it was, if, it, if, if, we, if we had Windows 7 released first and then Windows Vista, I think that operating system would have performed a little bit better. Controversial, I know, but I truly do believe in Vista. Vista had really good features, wonderful features that it had to offer. It was a whole revamp, but it, uh, Microsoft just tried to make it another XP, if you will. Like if, if you remember Windows 98 and Windows 2000, Windows ME, it, Vista base, uh, Windows XP basically was that, and it was the most popular operating system in the world. And it's still, to this day, I don't think any operating system has sold more copies than Windows XP. So like, I think it's a 1 billion copies, I remember, from its whole lifespan. And it's just, I think they just tried to do another home run with Windows XP-esque kind of thing. And they tried to do a Vista, but unfortunately it just didn't happen. <laughs> well, that's really all I had to talk about on this build on Windows, on Windows um, Vista 5270. Let's jump ahead a lot. We're gonna jump in a couple builds 
a bunch of builds. We're gonna go all the way out of Windows Beta 2, and now let's head on to the RC candidates and see what Microsoft had to release and what other features they could improve before we reach the RTM version. Stick around. Alrighty guys, we're right here. We got the release candidate, Windows Vista release candidate 5456. There isn't a lot of changes in this one. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. There's not a lot, but there is a couple of significant ones. As you know, this is a release candidate. So we are very, very close to the actual RTM versions of Windows Vista. And as you know, we're not calling it Longhorn anymore. We're calling it Vista. It's calling itself Vista and we're calling it, uh, we're going to call it Vista because it does. As you can see, we have a different uh, startup screen. It's looking like all references to Windows Longhorn are gone now. We got some new pictures, very nice, and some new wallpapers as well. And as you, and you noticed, ah, oh, the startup screen. Da -da, da -da -da. Oh my geez. Okay, we got it. So, icons changed, UI have changed. Icons galore. We're seeing Windows Vista. Why, this is very practically Windows Vista with just a couple less features. The infamous widget bar, as you can see, <laughs> in the background. Oh, you can see it's still using the old flag, the old Windows XP flag. But as you can see, everything looks just like Vista. It's amazing. This is the out of box experience, the hardware center. You can see they've pretty much changed all the icons in the UI and we're starting to have the widgets. As you can see, uh, the orb is starting to become larger. If you guys notice in the other builds, it wasn't as large as it is now, as we know it today. Come on, load control panel, load. I want to show everyone your updated icons. Look at this, beautiful. And you can also see the parental controls that uh, was infamous as well. <laughs> Not many people really enjoyed the Windows parental controls. And, but as you can see, it looks beautiful. Windows Vista out in its true colors. You're gonna see all, pretty much everything has changed. The only thing I don't think it changed was the sound devices, but that's the Windows XP. Same with the speech and the taskbar. But as you can see, the majority of the icons that we have here have basically finished. Windows Media Player has stayed the same. Again, here in this build, mostly just UI changes, some stylistic changes, and the theme has a couple of thicker borders, so it's a little bit more, again, more refined. Very nice. And then the installed applications are the same, but as you can see, we have a tiny touch-up to Windows Media Center. Looks very, very beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. And to let you guys know, when this build was compiled, we're traveling in time here. We got June 21st of, 20, of 2006. I was about to say 20. Ha, no, 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 no. Yeah, 2006. So we're getting very close to Windows XP, uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista. And it just looks beautiful. IE looks beautiful. Oh, as you can see the UI for Windows, um, the Windows uh, account, you can see it's starting to turn, like it turns your screen gray. It gives you a pretty little dialogue box. Windows Internet Explorer 7 Plus. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Microsoft? Set up people near me. Uh, this is catering more to the, you know, business side of it. it. I don't know how many businesses actually adopted Windows Vista. Again, most people will just stay with their Windows XP because they didn't need most of the stuff. Again, like I said, this is ahead of its time. Not many people really needed or either didn't need or didn't have the type of projectors that connected wirelessly like how we have it now. You would still have to use your VGA, DVI, or at this point, I think, yeah, HD, HDMI cables. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were there back in 2006. Maybe I'm wrong, actually, probably not. Uh, or if it, if it was, it was only on TVs and not on computers just yet. But, you know, in this, as you can see, it's basically Windows Vista. It looks beautiful. Again, I, I really love the way Windows Vista looks. It looks really, really nice. It looks beautiful. To me, at least, the UI looks really beautiful. Oh, we're gonna be playing the the darn uh, ink ball. All right, guys, you guys wish for it. Um, I know some people in the Discord chat wanted me to do a review on ink ball. Well, here's my review on ink ball. As you can see, I am the professional at ink ball. I'm so good at it, guys. 
Trust me. Oh, gosh. I still remember playing this on the uh, HP Pavilion, like, home. I think it was, like, a HP Pavilion uh, Media Center laptop that my father had. And, I mean, it was fun. It was it was a good way to pass the time and just, you know, it's a little mini game. It's just, it's just fun. It looks really nice. And the touch-ups for all the games and some of the other uh, games that it added, like Purple Play. Purple Play is not a fun one. I enjoyed it. I didn't really play the matching game as much. I mostly only played the cake game because the cake game, I thought, in my opinion, was the best. The cake game was the best. Again, I'm really sorry, guys. I couldn't get the proper video drivers or just the video drivers that I had just did not allow me to do certain things with the operating system. So I wasn't able to show you guys the beautiful, beautiful hardware acceleration that we had. But as you can see, this is the actual, uh, I went, uh, this key that I have for, uh, for this build that was available for this, this is a universal build, it's just a master key. So I said, you know what, let's go big, let's go to the Windows, Windows Ultimate, let's do it. And I just decided to do Windows Ultimate, just so you guys can see all of the features that we had on here and what you would do if you spent, like, I think it was, back then it was like $199 for a Windows Vista Ultimate, man. I still don't understand how Microsoft can justify that. Sure, it's one time that you pay, but $200 for an operating system? No way, Jose. No wonder people didn't really want to also upgrade because, I mean, even though the volume licensing, I doubt would be too bad, but that's still a business expense. Like those thousands of dollars could easily go to replace like a Windows XP computer. Like seriously, man. Again, and now I'm starting to realize, you know, I was like, and there's another factor why businesses didn't want to move away from their Windows 2000 and Windows XP. But one to one, they worked. They work. And they were not as secure as Windows XP and as Windows Vista. But, I mean, some businesses aren't stupid. They're going to make sure there's good protection on them. They're not going to visit websites on it. And if you guys remember, the malware during this time actually changed. We went from, you know, we still had worms, we still had Trojans, but those you actually had to download. And it's not like the computer, the email viruses as, as before, they weren't as popular anymore because there was most awareness that people stopped doing it. And we were starting to get into the more rogue antiviruses. But again, you had to download those. But if this is running like, if you have a Windows 2000 server, you're not going to run that on there. You literally, you would have to have someone on the network or someone on the server run, if you will, the malware on it for it to, you know, do something to the server. But you know, it's not going to do it. And there were, and then some of the serve, some of the web servers, they were ran by Windows and there were some... Uh, malware for Linux servers, but they it just didn't work, you know so I mean <laughs> It's um it was a different time So you could see there, there it's just a lot of factors why Windows Vista it just came out at the wrong time I I truly think if Windows Vista would have come out later or if we had 7 first and then Windows Vista Windows Vista would have probably been a little bit better I think but then again, we're at that we were at that area Microsoft didn't know that this was going to happen. Um, they want to keep improving. They want to keep updating the system, make it look beautiful and stuff for us, bring us into the modern world. But, you know, sometimes the world isn't ready for stuff that's modern and the new and the new norm. Uh, keep it a couple more years. And like I said, I mean, it's unfortunate Windows Vista didn't live up to its, you know, amazing development and its, excuse me, and its amazing hype. But, you know, I'm happy it at least still was around, and I do, I do personally still like Vista. It looks beautiful. It's definitely a step up for Windows uh, Windows XP. I love Windows XP, but you know, if I was forced to use Windows Vista or something, I would not be complaining. It's a beautiful operating system. It's wonderful, aesthetically pleasing, and it looks modern. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to go down to the Discord so you guys can see your community at work where we do anything all about Windows, Mac, and Linux, and just anything we can think about. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. Virus Alertable, signing off.